Mod case. KSP style. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Azevegu back again for another episode of Mod Case. And today I want to show you the KSPX mod. Now, this is probably one of my favorite mods, as it's a mod, but it just looks like stock. The parts that are in, in it, they're just completely fluid with the game, let's say. I want to show you just all the parts that they have, and they have, there's a lot of parts. I mean, not, probably not as much as Nova Silisco or Nova Punch, I mean. But, uh, hey, we gotta be honest that they've been at this for a while, and they have a got gigant gigantuan uh, database. Uh, first of all, you know, as I made two of them, just ignore that for the moment. What we have here is the Probodobodyne Hex. Interesting, huh? It's like the Octo and everything. It's just it has six sides instead of eight or four or anything else. So it's a nice little probe. I like it. It's not particularly uh, different from anything else. So you know, it's a nice little probe to have. Good for probe bodies. Now what else do we have? Because it has everything ranging from propulsion to our utility. Uh, here. Now let's start out with the fuel tanks because there are some very useful fuel tanks in here. First of all we have the X248 fuel tank. Now you see this is like the standard double and the single. It's just, well it's a double with a single on it. So this is kind of nice in between between the orange and the double. What else do we have? We have this one. Now if I'll look it up, because I can't remember the name, I must be honest. This looks quite similar to the FLT, FLT 200, but it's the 100. It's small, it's half the size, and that's perfect for a small little probe you need to land on a moon, such as, I don't know, uh, Val. So the nice little tanks, they don't contain too much fuel, but they'll last you a while. And what else do we have here? Well, here. let's clean that up real quick. What else do we have? We have radial tanks. This is an interesting concept. They all, you have three of them. We have the liquid fuel, oxidizer, and a monopropellant. They all contain one fuel each, so you don't get the Nice double fuel of the tanks. You have to actually stick two of them on to get anywhere. But you also have a very useful radial fuel tank. I like it. Now, that's not the only uh, only RCS tank that we have. We also have the FLR1F. Now, this is a good tank for uh, for large ships, because you may notice that the big one, the one that's double the size, it's just a little bit too much. It's, it's a heavy tank. So this is a nice in-between, because, you know, you can't get the small one onto there. Now what else do we have? We have the FLR-10. This is a nice little probe-sized tank. It is small. It is really small, but that's perfect. Absolutely perfect for little probes for unmanned vehicles, they're just sending off to a far, far away, never to be seen again. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Alright, but I also skipped this, I'm sorry about that, but we also have other ones. Now you may know the Stratus 5 roundified RCS tank, but now we also have the Stratus 5 roundified oxidizer and liquid tank. Nice, huh? So nice little things. Those are also perfect for our probes because you want to save them space. So keep as small as possible. Just stick it to the side, and everybody's happy. And for little probes, we also have the LV1R engine. I can't stick it on, but look at that. That's a cute little engine. It's much. And I broke the game. Nah, just, kidding. just kidding. Now, these little engines, LV-1R, they're similar to the 
2477. I mean, we all know that they are just... These ones, they just gobble through fuel. If you look at the specific impulse of 250 and 300, that is incredibly low. Only, uh, this one, this one is probably only better because it has more thrust. Does it actually? Yes, it does. So you see that it's just a little engine that has about the same amount of uh, uh, same efficiency, but has an engine power of one and a half. Well, this one has 20. So this is also good for little probes. So there's a lot of probe parts here, which is nice because I am personally, I'm a fan of sending probes instead of manned missions. They're lighter, they're faster, they're cheaper. You know, the, you know the gist. Now this is all, there are even more parts here, like the escape tower. Oh, uh, escape tower is all I needed. When in doubt, use an escape tower. And I must say, this looks good. It does look good. You have the nice cone with the container of fuel, the solid R rocket boosters, and we also have the four nozzles. Now, in real life, all of the uh, escape systems, they can have up to 16 nozzles. Four of them are usually used for thrusting away. While the rest are used to control the craft, to steer it out of harm's way, and bring it to safety. This also has an included decoupler, but you can't see it on here, that's just too bad. So you can decouple this after you're done, so you can uh, deploy your parachutes. I usually like to stick a parachute underneath and let the cup uh, uh, just stick this on, it just looks a bit nicer. And then you can get away like that. But those aren't the only parts. Uh, let's clean up this again. We also have engines. We have two engines. Again, another probe-sized engine. It is small. Very, very, very small. But it is perfect for so many reasons. Look at that. The thing is tiny. It's barely on there. You can barely see it. But it's a nice little engine for getting things done when you have a little probe, right? So yes, I love this engine. I use it all the time when I'm playing. Um, so yeah, it's just a great engine. The it's not that inefficient. Inefficient. It's 350 in a vacuum, which is pretty nice. And usually when I'm using it, I'm using it outside of an atmosphere or when I'm landing on something that doesn't have an atmosphere. Now something I really, really like, and you noticed that in my uh, previous video, I showed a double Nerva. Now this is a big Nerva. It is a huge Nerva engine. Look at that. It provides, it's the same as the, the LVN. It's just big. That's the B. And it provides uh, more thrust and everything. And uh, it's just a nice engine for those big plan interplanetary stages. I mean, if you're lugging all that weight across the galaxy, solar system, same thing, not that far away, right? If you're lugging all that weight, you kind of want to make something that has the thrust. You don't always want to stick those engines onto the side because it just doesn't look nice. It doesn't look rocketry. So we have this nice big engine, and I also use this quite a bit as well. Now, the nice thing about these engines is, if I just remove the couple is they come with bearings. Look at that. Ni neatly tucked away, out of sight, out of mind. Not completely, but uh, look at that. Even works around this. Isn't that just incredible detail? I love it. So I want to say to Claire, good job with this one. Now let's get back on track. What do we have for control? Now, you may notice that again, the double, I'm sorry about that, that's just a little happening. But it provides us with SES and ASAS that are normally not available, but are desperately needed. These two little ones, the micro a ASAS, or ASAS, as some people say, I like to say ASAS, is perfect, again, for probes, as well as the SAS or SAS micro. Again, a perfect body 
as a zone texture so it's not just a miniaturized size of a miniaturized part it's just perfect I've used this one particularly on several missions to Moho and has worked fine every single time but then again we also have those large missions where does that little ASAS module fit? well we have the, this large one look at that it's huge it's absolutely huge put it down underneath here look at that barely notice it's there so just a wonderful unit. I use this on mostly on my booster stages, so I can kind of control it. Like uh, one, an ASAS is just a little bit too much, and an SAS is just perfect because otherwise it's just go un become uncontrollable and we'll all die, and that's not preferable. This game also provides parts that I've so long wished for, and are perfect. Uh, previously, if you want to stick four engines underneath this, you would take a strut and uh, put them on four times symmetry and work from the center out to the edge and uh, click it on there. Oh, sorry, you don't need that. And you can put the engines on. And that was a bunch of work. But this one, this mod, it provides a bicoupler, a quadcoupler, and a tricoupler. And these all work. Fluidly, they fit fluidly into this. Like that. Fairly notice is on there. Love that. The tricoupler. Mmm. Beautiful. Sticks out a little bit, but it just makes it look better, I must say. And you can see the angles just curves right into it. It's kind of odd looking at it, especially the tricoupler. And then we also have the quad coupler. Now, I must be honest, I don't use this as often as I should be using it. But I love having it anyways. I've used it on several occasions where I like to use the LV45s, and it works perfectly. It is, it is not shaking the whole thing around, it just couples right on nicely, it makes it nice and sturdy, it's perfect. What else do we have? Well, we also have adapters. Again, a probe size adapter for the half meters, the meter size, which I love. I also use this quite a bit. We also have, for the tricoupler and bicoupler, we also have this quad coupler for the nice meter size engines or uh, tanks. And we also have another smaller adapter for probes. I also use this quite a bit. This is actually one of, my, one of the adapters I use the most. We have the big ones that are for me, uh, two meter to a meter. And this one is perfect as it goes for meter to half meter. I love it. In flight we don't have anything but honestly who needs to fly right? What we do have here is something that is incredible. We have batteries that look so stock like you can even hold on to it. These actually function as ladders so just so you know. We have a small probe site battery. Check that out. It's tiny. So we have two batteries, right? One big, one small, and we also have the standard ZL. There's a ZL200, we have the ZL400 as a stock, and the Z1000. And I use these two quite a bit. This one for the larger, the larger one of missions, and this one for the smaller ones. I must say, the one meter size, that doesn't really work for me. When I'm setting a mission, it's either a big mission or it's a small mission, and not too often something in between. I'm either shipping a probe or I'm shipping a Kerbal. If I'm shipping a Kerbal, I'm sending a lot of stuff there. So I love these two. They per uh, fit perfectly into my needs. We also have, like this ones, a radial xenon tank. Perfect. Because, you know, I don't need an extra xenon tank. But if I do, I have a big one right here. And look at that. It just reflects so nicely. Beautiful. Also, this is one I use for uh, larger missions because it even comes with the PB Ion 2. Look at that sucker. It is huge. It is huge. And look at the detail put into it the honeycomb structure, the cross beams. It's a beautiful engine. I love it. I use this also quite a bit for all my interplanetary missions that I'm sending probes or heavier probes. It works perfectly. And it's just look at that barely notice it when it goes over. It just fits in the, the, so well. 
And for science, we don't have anything. That's just too bad, but, you know, what else? Now, I want to say that Claire, the maker of this mod pack, Case PX, she is now currently working for Squad, developing new products. And some of the products from her Case PX pack, the original one, are actually already included. These include, yes, I'll show you, the cupola module. This one is hers. It's a beautiful piece. And she's provided that, and uh, I wish her well, because she is doing a good job, and I love her mods, and I don't think, I don't understand why these aren't already stock, because they just fit into the needs of so many niches that have not yet been filled. So if you're wondering, is this something for you? I say definitely take a look. This is probably one of the, the, the best mods out there as it provides so much stuff for you to use. This is Azvegu. I'll be seeing you next time in space.